I'd love to be able to give a speech as genuine and totally unrehearsed as Sunny Weather, but that's really not me. I know ponies are still talking about the scandal and how I'm supposedly this great superstar or something for uncovering it, but I'd rather not hear about it. I haven't changed at all, I don't want to be treated any differently. I'm still sports night, and I'm going to do the exact same thing I've always done, reporting as honestly as I've always done and and try to do the right thing. I hope to continue to doing that for you all, and I guess that's about it. Just try to go easy on the kid. It's her first day, she's new. What I'm saying is, don't do anything to make her realize you're a hate-filled psychopath. At least until later. Shouldn't be hard for you, since I assume that's how your dating life goes anyway. You know, I used to think this job was easy. You chase a few leads, get to the bottom of things, find out what's right, and then you reveal the truth. And you'd be doing the right thing, right? Just tell the truth and the bad guys will get what they deserve. But then that business with strikeout happened. And I see what happens when you get things wrong. How quickly some pony's life could be just crushed. And I realize it's hard to tell it's bad guys from the good guys all the time. What if there aren't any bad guys at all? Well, except me. Let me tell you what this Mare Duel is. A criminal. The law cannot be taken into our own hooves. That's what the Canterlot Guard is for. Sure, she may have saved a few ponies and done some good, but she is still breaking the law. And if you break the law, you deserve to be punished whether ponies like you or not. If we make exceptions for one pony, we have to make exceptions for them all, and that undermines our very society. The only thing more offensive than her presumed moral superiority is her wardrobe. What well, makes her qualified to decide what's right or wrong? That's not her job, that's MINE! I didn't get this degree from community college for nothing, damn it! I don't see why you all hang out with those hippies over at ENN so much. They're all a bunch of Luna huggers. Literally, I mean their political correspondent hugged Luna on the air and seemed overly happy about it. That's her whole attitude right there. Oh, Luna, try to conquer Equestria once and make the night last forever, but her hair is so cool, so let's forgive her. You know, she was put on the moon for a thousand years for a reason, and I know ponies love to say, Oh, Celestia, she's just crazy and loves to send ponies to the moon! That sort of gloss over the whole, you know, treason thing that led her to be in there. Just saying, any ponies that support that clearly aren't in their right mind. Dad, I'm sorry about exploding like that to every pony. I just, I just want to stand up for my beliefs. I want to do the right thing, just like you taught me. I know I can be a jerk sometimes. Okay, maybe a lot of the time. But I just want ponies to hear my side of the story. I really do think it's the right side. I may hurt some feelings, sure. At least I stood up for what I believe. But, but I guess you're right. I can't just go off like that. I'll, I'll try to be a little better. Thanks, Dad. I don't really know why any of this is happening. I've always been a good pony. At least, as far as I can remember. I have all these memories, but I'm not sure if they're real or imaginary. I guess they're made up. Everything I've ever valued. It's all a lie. Granted, I suppose the fact that the other half of my face talks to me should have been a dead giveaway. <laughs> what are you talking to the other half for? He's such a wuss. Always has been. I should know. I've been stuck with him a lot longer than you. <laughs> Just between you and me, I think the queen being banished took his toll on him a bit. I think he loved the queen a little too much, you understand? Such another sap he was. And without her around, well, he just went crazy. But not too crazy. Only halfway. You're looking for Mary Duel? <laughs> Sorry, can't help you. And even if I could, I wouldn't. I'm having too much fun as it is. Mary Duel and I were of a kind, you know. Don't listen to him. He doesn't know what he's talking about, the brute. Grr, shut up, you worm. <laughs> See, that's what's so funny. Mary Duel and I were both split right down the middle. This is Live Anchor, here with the weather. Today's weather in Philadelphia, it'll be partly cloudy, with a 10% chance of rain and an 80% chance of- Please, for the love of Celestia, give me my old job back! My life is never-ending spiral of torment! Oh, and it'll be a bit humid in Canterlot today, so- So turn on a fan or whatever. Back to you, Sonny. I'm- I'm gonna go lie down. Okay, look. I know Sunny Weather is talented and intelligent and outspoken and the ratings go through the roof whenever she appears, but aside from all that, I don't see any quality she has that I don't, so I just want you to consider all that. Oh, and um, I also have this piggy bank that I'm just going to leave right here on your desk. I've been saving this since I was a little full. There's almost four whole bits in there. So you just think I'll give you my job back and I'll just leave this right here. And I'll turn my head around and if it disappears, then that's okay. Okay, so it's still there. I think I might have been a little too subtle. Let me 
slightly me overt. <clears throat> TAKE MY BRIBE! Well, it's nice to see I have your attention. Poor little no pony gives a flying feather live anchor. Finally has every pony's attention. I suppose I have to thank you. After all, you did give me a way to get my old job back once and for all. And just because it might demote your hateful underhanded friend Sonny, you suddenly want to stop me? <laughs> well, nobody cared when the same thing happened to me, so tough. <laughs> Nothing commands Megiddo, least of all, a pitiful ant like you. I cannot be defeated. I am Megiddo, the flame of Tartarus. When fire consumes this land and all you know rots into nothing, I shall endure. I will not be bested by you. Listen, I don't want to overemphasize the importance of this, but being a journalist is the most important job in the world. You're not just trivial workers like firemen or doctors. You illuminate the truth through the darkness. We're the last bastion of hope in this world. That's what it means to be a journalist. It is our duty to get as much ratings, er, I mean, get as much of the truth as possible. Remember that. Solar news, bunch of money-grubbing, luna-hating, bias jerkwords is what they are. They don't care about things like the truth or journalism. All they care about are ratings. They don't have the strict code of ethics we do. Our duty is only to the truth! And yeah, maybe ratings a bit, but still! And that mogul is the worst of the worst, getting his fortune from inspiring fear and lies. I can't think of anything more despicable than that! Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm going to go take a break in my solid gold jacuzzi. I have a meeting with the sponsors! Crap! Nothing but a bunch of blood-sucking vampires! Miss Shorthand, you can tell them if they want a meeting, they can arrange one next week with the hairiest part of my- Mrs. Astor, so nice to see you again. Can I get you anything? Tea, coffee, soda, hoof massage? Good morning. This is breaking news here. Our top story, the new Mayor Do Well has been sighted once again in Philadelphia. She was recently spotted fighting the changeling known as Halfway, but unfortunately both disappeared shortly after this sighting. For more news, we now join Sports Night live on the scene. This is damn good scotch. Now then, where was I? Ah yes, I remember now. So, we exposed the guards tampering with black magic. I reported it all in the Gallup Gazette back when that actually meant something. Star Swirl made sure all those spells were locked away. And as for that doctor fellow? Well, he up and disappeared as he is wont to do. That wasn't the last time I saw him. Oh no. He has a habit of popping up when you least expect. Like a spring snow. Or a hurricane. Either one would be appropriate. Ah well. Here's to old friends. Up for another round? Listen kid. I've been reporting news before you were born. I warned all of Equestria during the Great Dragon Migration of 936. I was there when Starswell repaired time itself and when the Smooths was banished to a city in the depths of the sea. I have seen Tartarus. You think I'm too old for this job? You think I don't know what I'm doing? HA! You have no idea. Hello ladies. This is Sunset Strip reporting live from the site of the recent bank robbery. The would-be criminals were captured by Mayor Do Well shortly before they could reach their getaway carriage. Canterlot guards tried to question Mayor Do Well, but she of course disappeared before they reached her. Hmm. I have to say, that strapping masked mayor must have been quite talented to escape Canterlot's finest. I certainly wouldn't mind being tied up by her, that's for sure. Assuming she's actually a mayor, which I'm assuming with that name. If not, then, then that makes me feel slightly awkward. Not that there's anything wrong with that. I mean, it's not like I wouldn't be open to that, or... <clears throat> I'm just going to stop talking now. Back to you, Stormy. Hello there, Angel. Nice to meet you here. You've been trotting through my dreams for quite some time now. Perhaps you could discuss those dreams over a nice drink? No? Well, that's all right. I'll be right here if you change your mind. You say you'll never change your mind. Well, that's good. Heh, <laughs> that's no big deal at all. I'm just gonna go over here. <laughs> Thick skin, Sunset. Thick skin. I haven't been on a single date. Ever. I've just been lying about how much of a player I've been up until now. The truth is, I don't even know what I'm doing half the time with this stuff I say. I based my entire repertoire on trashy romance novel because I thought that was the kind of thing mares wanted. It hasn't worked out that well. I mean, my entire backstory is made up. You think I really sailed around the world in a ship with my mane wafting in the wind? I've never even been on a boat. <sighs> you know, Wildcard, you're the lucky one. You actually seem like you know more of what you're doing with your filly than I'd ever know what to do. 
Honestly, if I ever did get a date, I'm not even sure what I'd do. I'd probably get so scared I'd back out. I have no clue where to go from here, really. <sighs> kind of a waste considering all the speech therapy I had to make my voice so small. So small. Hi, this is Traffic with Traffic Cam, flying around Equestria in this spinny metal death trap. Air traffic today is a little congested around Cloudsdale due to the upcoming Wonderbolts tryout, so try not to knock heads if you're flying about today. As far as I can tell, down in Philadelphia, everything is fine. Nothing to speak of so far, but since I barely know how to fly this thing, the inevitable helicopter crash that will occur may cause a few problems on the road. So, yeah, just a heads up. This is a traffic cam saying, I should have packed a parachute. Back to you, Sonny. Hello. It's nice to see such a beautiful and stunning mare such as yourself in the studio. My name's Traffic Cam. I'm sure you'll love it here. Stick with me. I know all the ins and outs here. Perhaps we should... Discuss them later, over dinner, coffee, a movie, moonlit walk on the beach, something of that nature. So, is being crazy like a requirement here? Because that kind of seems to be the impression I'm getting. You might as well have a sign out front that says, You must be this crazy to ride the crazy train, all aboard, choo choo! So tonight in sports, basketball news. The last Pegasus Phoenixes beat the Griffins in a final score of 47-23 to in the big basketball tournament thing. The championship finals. Right, right, I knew that. Star player Slam Dunk managed to score two three-pointers. And as we all know, three-pointers in basketball are gotten by throwing the ball in the hoop from, like, far away. I hear that's hard. Hey, how about we go back to the news desk? Back to you, Stormy. I don't hate sports. I love sports. It's fun to watch. Every pony who works hard enough to play in any sport well is very talented. I just can't for the life of me figure any of this crap out. I mean, how is it possible for all these ponies to memorize the touchbacks or slam downs or whatever every single pony made throughout their entire careers? I mean, I can't remember from my friend's phone numbers half the time. How am I supposed to keep track of that stuff? I mean, yeah, I memorized a lot of stuff back in my card game and RPG days, but that's completely different. And then if you play Descending the Tartarus, it grants all evil creatures on the field a plus seven bonus, and you can take all my life points down to zero. See, it's really easy. <laughs> Sorry for some kind of dorky explaining all this. This was my favorite game, ever since I was a kid. I used to keep to myself a lot, got picked on. When I started playing this, I met a bunch of friends who were nice and smart like me. It kind of... Well, it was one of the first things that let me have a social life. As pathetic as that might sound. <laughs> hmm. I'm glad you don't seem to think that's weird or anything. 